Welcome to the Freak Show, everyone. Uh, I'm putting back on the red lipstick so that way I can give you guys an update about what happened at Paley Fest surrounding American Horror Story Season 7. And at this point, I just don't know what the hell is going on. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, it's weird. When I was editing this video, news broke in regards to American Horror Story Season 7. Ryan Murphy is known, and this is coming from Dateline or Deadline.com. It is also confirmed by TV Line and various other news outlets, so it is true. Ryan Murphy is known for making out-of-the-box casting choices for American Horror Story. The latest actor to join the scene is Billy Eichmer. Ackner. I hope I'm enunciating that correctly. His last name is E-I-C-H-N-E-R and is best known for his popular Man on the Street series, Billy on the Street. He was also in shows such as Parks and Recreation and Difficult People. Uh, the, the article is indicating that he is joining the seventh season in a heavily reoccurring role opposite Sarah Paulson and Evan Peters and that his character is being kept under wraps, but sources say he is playing a close confidant of Paulson's character and mostly will be wearing mystery tank tops. Let's see, they're saying that he will be in six or seven of the 11 episodes in season seven, which begins shooting in May. I told you guys we're going to be coming here soon. Little is known about the premise of the new American Horror Story installment beyond the fact that it is set in the aftermath of the recent presidential election, with the first episode being, or with the first episode taking place on election night. If you would like to actually read this article, please help yourself. I'll put the link in the description. Okay, guys, let's start off with Paley Fest. Number one, we did not get season seven's theme. I do apologize that I did not stream, but I had a family emergency. If that is something that pissed you off or that you felt necessary to send me a rude message for, there are plenty other YouTubers out there who dedicate their lives to bringing you this information. Please, make sure you go look now, for them. I don't know what the heck was going on with Kuba. Possibly he has this relationship with Sarah Paulson. Because to me, Sarah seems like this awesome chick. And I bet you that since they worked so close together for Roanoke and American Crime Story, that they have a very tight-knit friendship. And that they possibly hadn't seen each other in a couple of months. So when Kuba saw Sarah during Paley Fest, that prompted the pull of her skirt. Now, if you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, watch this. Sarah Paulson shrieks as Cuba Gooding Jr. lifts her dress up on stood sparking outrage among fans. On Sunday evening, Cuba Gooding Jr. lifted up Sarah Paulson's dress on stage in front of hundreds of shocked fans at the Dolby Theater in L.A. The 42-year-old Demi Award winner and her co-stars had taken the stage to discuss their experience filming season 6 of the hit FX show. As they were being introduced, Gooding Jr. lifted the star's dress up and exposed her legs in an unsolicited move, causing outrage on Twitter. At first, Paulson was too busy greeting her favorite person Kathy Bates on stage to notice, but when she did, she shrieked and grabbed her dress away from the American Crime Story actor. Though the panel continued smoothly, and the vibe was light and comedic, fans took to Twitter to communicate their outrage. Paulson and the rest of the cast of American Horror Story, My Roanoke Nightmare closed out Pally Fest Los Angeles. And though fans were hoping to get a scoop on the upcoming seventh season, the group was far too busy goofing around with each other to spill any you secrets. I mean? So I'm curious to know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think that was a dick move? Or do you think that Sarah and Kuba have this uh, friendship together that he can actually do things such as that and it doesn't offend her? 
let it, me know in the comments. Now again, guys, we did not get the theme for season seven, but we did get some great stuff from the Paley Fest. So if you guys want to, please go on YouTube and check it out. Uh, Paley Fest is basically everywhere. Uh, you could watch, you could have actually watched it on Twitter on Sunday when they broadcasted it. There were a lot of people actually going and it was hashtagged. So go to Twitter, go to YouTube. There's so many places you can actually watch for yourself what happened, uh, you know, for that entire hour. So, um, yeah, I, I just don't know what the hell is going on with Ryan right now, guys. He gets, he tells us, mm, I don't think I'm going to tell you the theme. And then he gets drunk, goes on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen, tells us the theme, and then doesn't give us anything at Paley Fest to either confirm or deny that this is the truth and to kind of give us a little bit of information. Because right now, people are pissed because they think that Ryan is going to model season seven after Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton, which if you guys think about it, it is literally impossible for Ryan to do that because number one, that would open him up for a liable or a slander suit um, from both parties. And you guys know how so happy Donald Trump would be. There's no way that Ryan or FX want to take on the liability of modeling season seven after our election and using Trump and Clinton specifically by name due to liable claims. Or again, um, they can be totally sued for the whole thing. Now, even just to make a character that even has a likeness to Donald Trump or to Hillary Clinton, they can sue him. There is absolutely no way that Ryan and FX want that kind of liability. Possibly what they we're going to have in season seven of American Horror Story is two candidates possibly running for office. One of them is possibly a freak. The other one is not. And we're going more for equality here. That Ryan is going to put a political spin on uh, an issue that is plaguing modern society right now. I don't think that he is going to waste his time in court being sued by a Cheeto poof. Uh, he's better than that. And even if Ryan does decide to do election this year and he does decide to run it as uh, you know a Hillary and a Trump uh, sort of like character, well, so what? Let's watch it. Let's give so it a chance. It, guys. Don't forget that the last episode of Beyond the Har Murder House is going to be this Wednesday. And that's going to be it for Beyond the Har for a couple of weeks. So that way I can finish with my book. We're going to be back, though, next Wednesday with a special Kurt Cobain episode uh, on April 5th. So if you are a Nirvana fan and you've been to the concerts, please come join us for the live stream. We would appreciate it. And then the Wednesday after that, we will be back to every single Wednesday doing weekly Wednesday live streams with Mother Supreme. Uh, so thank you guys very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, again, let me know what your thoughts and your comments are below. And if you, most importantly, are just as confused about season seven as I am. Because at this point, Ryan is telling us we're going to get the freaks background. Um, you know, we're going to get this element. We're going to get that element. And then they're putting out stuff, you know, on social media. And it's just confusing the crap out of fans. And at this point, I've just kind of washed my hands of the whole thing because I have more important things to care about right now than Ryan's drunken banter. Because let's just face it, guys. He's getting drunk going out there and displaying the secrets on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen. And then he's, you know, it's just, it's so discombobulated right now. And it's really starting to show. Ryan is so busy with the American Crime Story and his new show, Posse. And he's got Feud, he's got Scream Queens, he's got Bermuda Triangle. And he's got award shows. And he still has to create all this stuff. He's getting too discombobulated. And it's really, unfortunately, starting to show. So my hope is that... He'll just take a breath. He'll realize that he's actually starting to damage this beloved show and maybe just kind of take a step back and make some more better decisions. So tell me again what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you again for watching. You are all awesome. I love you and I will see you all on Wednesday. Bye guys. Mm -mm. Mm -mm.